Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today this video is about macOS Sequoia 15.1 Developer Beta 3 Update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and now let's begin. Apple today provided developers with the third betas of iOS 18.1, iPadOS 18.1, and macOS Sequoia 15.1 to continue testing Apple Intelligence features. The third betas come two weeks after Apple seeded the second iOS 18.1, iPadOS 18.1, and macOS Sequoia 15.1 betas. To update your Mac to macOS Sequoia 15.1 Developer Beta 3, open System Settings, then go to the Software Update section, then check for updates. Here, you can see the update is available for my device. This macOS Sequoia 15.1 Developer Beta 3 update size is around 2.29 GB for my device. Click on Update Now and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device and enter the password when prompted. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sequoia 15.1 Beta 3, and the build number is 24B5035E. Moving forward and talking about what's new in this build. This macOS Sequoia 15.1 Beta is an early preview of an update to macOS Sequoia that will be available later. This fall is Beta includes an initial set of the features powered by Apple Intelligence to try the Apple Intelligence Beta. Join the waitlist in settings and you will be notified as soon as it's ready for your device. Both device language and Siri language must be set to us English and device region must be set to United States. Also, Apple Intelligence is available on Macs with M1 and later Apple Intelligence is not currently available in China. Moving forward and talking about macOS Sequoia 15.1 Beta 3 release notes, the macOS 15.1 SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers running Sequoia 15.1 Beta 3. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 16.1, available from the Mac App Store. In general, nothing new is listed to know about the additional details about new features, resolved issues, known issues, and deprecation. Please watch the macOS Sequoia 15.0 Beta 8 update video. Regarding Siri known issues, some of the buttons on the macOS Siri snippets might be unresponsive when using Siri through voice. Regarding the system integrity protection, resolved issues, fixed users might be incorrectly prompted when an app that is distributed through test flight attempts to access an application group container. Now moving forward and talking about the noticeable changes made to this build. The App Store has received significant enhancements in these beta releases. Apple has introduced more efficient storage management, allowing users to download larger files even when faced with limited free space on their devices. Moreover, users now have the option to download large applications directly to an external disk, freeing up valuable internal storage space. This feature is particularly beneficial for users with smaller storage capacities or those who frequently work with large files. The Photos app has undergone a transformation with the introduction of a new collections feature. This addition enables users to organize their photos more effectively, making it simpler to navigate through extensive photo libraries. Furthermore, Apple has incorporated enhanced cleanup tools powered by machine learning algorithms. These intelligent tools assist users in managing and decluttering their photo collections, ensuring a more organized and streamlined experience. The Messages app has received a delightful update. Emojis are now enlarged, adding a touch of expressiveness and engagement to conversations. This enhancement allows users to convey their emotions and reactions more vividly, enriching the overall messaging experience. Apple has also paid attention to the visual aesthetics of macOS Sequoia. The company has reintroduced previously removed wallpapers and added new Sequoia-themed screensavers. These additions provide users with a wider range of customization options, allowing them to personalize their desktop environment according to their preferences. The Maps app has been upgraded with the inclusion of custom walking routes. This feature empowers users to plan and follow personalized walking directions, enhancing their navigation experience. 
Whether exploring a new city or taking a leisurely stroll, the custom walking routes feature ensures a more tailored and efficient journey. Voice Memos has also received a significant update, now offering transcripts and stereo recording capabilities. These enhancements make it easier for users to capture, organize, and review their audio recordings. The transcript feature automatically converts spoken words into written text, facilitating quick reference and searchability. The Apple News app features an updated interface and new pop-up screens, aiming to enhance the reading experience and make navigation more intuitive. These improvements ensure that users can easily access and consume their preferred news content with minimal friction. For music enthusiasts, Apple Music now offers the ability to transfer playlists to and from YouTube Music. This feature provides greater flexibility in managing music libraries across different platforms, allowing users to seamlessly switch between services without losing their carefully curated playlists. Safari, Apple's web browser, has been updated to version 18.1, introducing new features and pop-up screens. These updates aim to enhance the browsing experience and provide better performance, ensuring a smoother and more efficient web browsing session. Lastly, the calendar widget has undergone improvements, including the relocation of the edit button and better notification management. These changes streamline the process of managing schedules and staying organized, ensuring that users never miss an important event or appointment. So that was all about this build. The rest of the build seems identical. If you want to know more, check out Apple's official documentation for Mac OS Sequoia 15.1 beta release notes. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.